Hello gamers and welcome back. I'm Rob, of course, or Warshack if you want to call me by my in-game name, and we're going to be playing some of that sweet Control Warrior during this Road to Legend episode where we're again still streaming on Twitch, so if you hear me talking to people that aren't there and answering questions that you cannot see, it is because I am talking to these fine fellows and ladies on Twitch chat. Try out my no. Reno Cthulhu priest. <laughs> I'll try it once we hit legend or something like that. We do our deck testing, but right now we're trying to we're trying to climb, boys. We're trying to climb. All right. So Ravaging Ghoul executes good if he's playing a four drop seven seven. But if he does that, then we still have brawl, so we could just keep brawl and then get rid of everything else. This seems fun. What up, Snapshot? How's it going, buddy? Why not Taunt Warrior? Uh, Taunt Warrior's uh, it's not doing too swell. It's not doing too swell. We tried the deck out, and we, we, we <laughs> it lost miserably. It definitely lost miserably. All right, so we kept a brawl, which means we had to draw into the second brawl, which is pretty, uh, pretty hurtful, but not the worst thing in the world. Jade Claws, our Spirit Claws. We have Dirty Rat. We've got Pain. We do nothing. I lost to Sword of Justice. <laughs> Rip. Sorry about that. That always hurts. That always hurts. Oh, God. My face. Um, I guess we just hero power, right? I'm not going to coin out the Alkali that's just going to die to the Spirit Claws. If you would have got any other totem, I probably would have gone with the Alkali. And then we could have played the Taskmaster and at least drawn two from it, guaranteed. But this situation makes it really difficult for me to warrant that. Ow, my face. <laughs> oh, I guess we have to slam coin Taskmaster. That feels so bad. And then the Taskmaster just dies a horrible death. Because we can't allow him to draw that many cards. Wow. That's unfortunate. Okay, so in this matchup, Justicar is always nice. Just surviving in general is nice. <laughs> it all depends what kind of shaman he's running, right? If he's running like heavy jades, where it looks pretty blim for us. If he's running like, you know, more of a mid range, it'll probably be not so bad. That's a really good one drop. I don't mind dirty ratting, because then we get to brawl. But then if we brawl, then we kind of uh, are setting ourselves up for failure. I really want to play the Alkalite, but we're only going to draw one card, which is not good. I want to draw at least two cards from Alkalite, which means we would, like, combo that with Ravaging, but we can't even play Ravaging. So it's basically just hero power. That hero power pass, boys. That hero power pass. What's going on, Lunar? What's going on, buddy? What's going on, Venom? Hey, Feeder. All right, so we just play the armor smith, but then he just used spells to kill it. That doesn't feel fun. I want to be able to dirty rat brawl on the same turn, so we just need to wait one more turn and we'll uh, we'll whip that out. Unfortunately, our hand is really awkward, right? Like we have stuff, but we just don't have good stuff. That's what I was saying. He's just going to use a spell to kill it. It's either Revenge or Gravaging Ghoul. I'm trying to think of the pros and cons of either. If we use Ravaging Ghoul, he just swings in with his weapon and kills it. Then we have Merit to play the Alkalite, which is good. So I guess Ravaging Ghoul, right? But if we Revenge, his weapon gets held. He'll probably attack and override it with Jade Claws. And then also Revenge can deal a lot more damage later on. Since we are getting low, there's Merit to holding it. Revenge or Ravaging. We also can combo these two together Maybe. and actually have two cards on the board. The questions that need to be answered. Mm. 
Okay. So we didn't have to brawl that out, which is really nice. Because using a brawl early, early on, then you can like... He, shamans have really good reload, right? So they just keep reloading until you don't have any more brawls. So we just have to make sure that we always have like a brawl just in case that... Oh, shit. So like right now, his board kind of looks like kind of scary, but it's really not scary at all. <laughs> so unfortunately, we can't do the combo that I want to use, which is Alkalite, Taskmaster, the Alkalite, Hero Power, and Shield Slam. Uh, because we don't have eight mana, we need we need eight mana, and we only have seven, which means like the best play, I guess, is just a Hero Power, Shield Slam, and then Alkalite. He'll run out of resources eventually. So he's already used double Drake, one Spirit Claws. And we have only used one Shield Slam. We still have two Executes, two Brawls. We're still fine. We still have two Gore Howls. <laughs> I know he's going to be running at least one Ooze or something like that. So that's where he takes out the first Gore Howl. So as long as the first Gore, first gore Howl can kill... Oh, fuck! I was really hoping I'd get two draws from this Alkalite. At least we have two Alkalites in the deck, which is nice. Seriously, he's running Jades. Why do we have to... We switched to Control Warrior to play Jade Shaman, man. We should have played Cthune. Cthune would have been good. Okay, so I really want a Dirty Rat and a Brawl. But it's not really that worth it, to be honest. But we don't really have another play. Maybe we could hit something good. That's good. Stopped one Jade from coming out. <laughs> oh, that feels nice. Control warrior being rewarded. There's our first gore hell. I kind of, I, I really want a war axe. And then this actually might bait it out, to be honest. It's 14 to 15, so using shield block, um, there's not really a reason to. It gets us closer to good stuff, though. And then do we trade into the totem? Probably, right? The question right now is, do we shield block or not? I really don't mind. Yeah, seems okay. I guess the more options we have, the better. I just want him to use the ooze on uh, our weapon now. We'll see if we can bait it out. I wouldn't say so much chat is dead. If I, I if I asked chat to speak up, I'm sure we could get some people talking. But Control Warrior is one of those matches that's uh, really, really slow until towards the end where it gets kind of hype, right? Dude, this guy is a fucking professional at ripping this Wrath of the Air Totem. Like, this guy is... He is good. He is good. So now we're, uh... We're in the equal range of him. He hasn't used any hexes yet. We know he runs two. So, Gore Howl. We want it to kill at least one dude. And he's already played the Azur Drake, which is, like, supreme target for the Hell Scream. So he's just waiting for his Bran into his good Jades. All right, so this is going to be a four. Um, that's kind of scary. We could just Ravaging, trade, trade. That doesn't feel too bad. We also could Hell Scream, kill this, and then weapon into that, and then kill that. I know this looks not so great, guys, but he's going to hex it regardless, and I'd rather get these hexes out of the way. Because when we play Elise, he's going to... Um... <laughs> Where the chat at? Never. <laughs> um, so we know it's going to get... Hey, he could even use a spell on it, but probably hex, like I said. So now that when we play the Elise with the monkey... Um, and we start playing the big dick legendaries, and we can only basically play one legendary a turn. He doesn't have a lot to be able to, you know, deal with that. And right now, his whole hand will consist of basically, um, he wants to combo his jade cards. So we're going to go ahead, and we're going to dirty rat again. And we're going to hopefully pull something that pulls out a jade. Perfect. Perfect, though. So now the option is, do we want to gore howl this guy down? And honestly, I really do. I really do. And now he's going to Harrison or he's going to Ooze. 
my uh, Gorhal, and then we're going to be able to play uh, another Gorhal, and we'll do big things. Ideally, we want to kill you know more minions with the Gorhal to get maximum value, but I actually valued keeping this guy alive uh, because this guy is a totem killer, and this guy is two damage. So. When we play Control Warrior, guys, we, we go in so much detail. <laughs> like, all of a sudden, I, I, fart, I start... Not, fart, not I fart, but I start spitting out all this information. And I only can talk so fast, right? So I only can give you, like, you know, partly how much, you know, partly our thought process. But it's, um, it's one of my favorite decks for this reason. There's just so much going on that the other player has no idea. Well, I mean, even if he got Rag or your shards, then we Taskmaster execute. I would never play Dirty Rat into not being able to deal with the creature it brings out. That's a very common mistake people will do. They'll play Dirty Rat with no ability to get rid of the card it brings out. So now, right now, we're just waiting for Elise. That's how we win. So he's, we've pulled out two jade cards which stopped the jades from becoming so now he's gonna brand into jade claws into jade claws and now we brawl him <laughs> dirty rat wins again Ah, oh, he was the first one out. No, that's the biggest fucking one. Seriously? Oh, That was the biggest motherfucker. <laughs> so what are we, Ravaging Ghoul Shield Slam it? No, no, Ravaging Ghoul Execute? Probably, right? Maybe... I was hoping anything, any of the 5-5, five, five, like any of the, anything lower than 5, because then we could have just, gore, or anything 6, right? Then we could have Ravaging Ghoul attacked it, but the 8? The 8's the big dick swinger, man. He got the biggest one. But the brand into double Jade Claws, I mean, that's, that's, that's good. He basically, uh, he fucked us. But he's out of stuff. He only has one more Jade Lightning left, so we're doing just fine. We just, with Control Warrior, outvalued. This Jade Golem Shaman, get the fuck out of here. So he has one more Jade um, card, and that's it. And that we can easily be able to execute. And because he played Mana Tide, maybe we should keep the Mana Tide alive so he fatigues faster. Yeah, I don't know. So if we attack this, we could bash and then swing. That seems okay. Just want to keep this guy alive. He kills totems. Man, Elise, where are you at, fam? <laughs> we need to draw our second Gorhal or um, Elise. And he needs to Jade Lightning. Oh, Jessicar, how you doing? I was also waiting on you. We're gonna use our weapon to kill this because I don't want him to be able to kill our uh, our ghoul with his weapon. He also still hasn't used his lightning storm, so this is gonna get lightning stormed. This is what I'm talking about. We just played a 35 minute rank six game when we could have played like seven Pirate Warrior matches and won like four games, four or five games. So there's Jade Lightning. There's his last big dick swinger. So do we, <clears throat> do we Taskmaster and execute? Or do we hit 3-3? Three, three? Taskmaster is basically a legendary. So I think we can sacrifice our three three. Maybe th no 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 no. I don't know. I don't know. How much do we value the three three? I mean it kills totems.
We could use the gore howl. Can we? We could take ten. How bad is that? Yeah, let's take ten and execute it. Oh my gosh. What's that? Why so late? Okay. So we're leaving at seven. So what time you want to be in the shower? That's the time that matters, not the time we leave. In sh in shower at six thirty. All right, thank you. You going to bed? Oh, it's only seven thirty. For some reason, I thought it was much later. Huh? I said for some reason I thought it was much later already. The stream says hi. <laughs> Uncle Rob says hi. <laughs> All right, later. All right, this is where the second gore howl comes in super handy. Do we attack face knowing that he's just going to hit this with the totem anyway? Oh, man. Because we know he's just going to attack and trade anyway, so we actually deal three more damage like this. <laughs> Damn it, you look even better on stream than through my telescope. <laughs> hey, draw, how's it going? Why would you play this into that? just gonna die a terrible death. Can we draw at least? Thank you. Come on again. This guy's just waiting. He already used all of his jades, so what do you, I don't understand what uh, what he's ho what he's hoping is gonna happen here. I don't know what big uh, big shit shebang show he thinks is gonna get ripped out but he already played double jade claws he already used his brand i a black paul is dead unless he's running nazoth or wide eyes there's really no uh the cards in his hand are healing wave healing wave hold on i can think i can do this healing wave healing wave do we just attack face now Healing wave, healing wave, bloodlust. Healing wave, healing wave, bloodlust. Devolve. You can see. That's a pretty good card. Oh my god, guys. <laughs> what a. Uh, we just outvalued the Jade Shaman. Hmm. He already used lightning. He already used his Jade Lightning. That was his last guy that was a 10-10 that we swung our Gore Howl into to execute because we valued our 3-3 at killing totems. Good. Alright, so we go Taskmaster execute in the opening hand to stop Van Cleef. That's good. Dirty Rat's really not that bad, but it's really scary. I really don't like anything here, to be honest. But, like, the execute's good just in case he gets, like, a nutty Van Cleef. The Taskmaster's good, too. Um, if the nerf's already hit and he had Buccaneer, then we could Taskmaster the Buccaneer. But it's still just a good 2-2 two -two to play. Maybe we keep Taskmaster. Yeah. Okay. So we just need a War Axe in this hand is all right. Who goes there? Alright, nothing to play. What is going on? Game is fantastic. Highly recommend to anyone that has a 3DS and is a fan of Dragon Ball. <laughs> Ooh, spicy. Oh, Dragon Ball on DS. I had a DS and then I sold it. Rip. I just don't have time to play it. Like, I, I I had, like, I bought it. I spent, like, I don't know how much they were. They were kind of expensive, though. Um, I guess we just hero power again, right? I don't think we war axe. It's just gonna get devastated. It's gonna get plundered. Drew Heart's really good. So next turn's war axe, hero power, coin, true heart, and then we just start armoring up. We don't play this guy because of uh, Sap. There's no point to play him. Um, but it starts getting us armor early. I mean, it's really not that bad, but it's so bad to Sap. Eh. Sure, 
Maybe he doesn't have sap. We have Taskmaster. This getting Taskmastered is so good because it goes to six and then it's a four six that gives us four every time it takes damage and it normally takes damage twice so we gain eight armor. So not only does he take four, we gain eight, which is a 12 um, HP deficit. Well, net. It's so, so good. That good, good. Oh, baby. So we could go Taskmaster, attack into the Drake. Ooh. Or we could just go like Fiery War Axe, Taskmaster. And then this stays healthy. We can even just shield slam. And Taskmaster. And this stays healthy. And then he saps so it. I don't know. There's so much we could do. There's endless possibilities. Oh. I like keeping this healthy. He needs to he needs to stay. She needs it to stay healthy. So in order for her to stay healthy. This is fine. Stay healthy, my friend. Why do I want it injured? So he can't backstab it? This guy doesn't play, uh... He, he's not he's not playing what you think he is. This guy is playing Miracle Rogue, but we've been chilling, so he's just playing a lot slower than he normally is. This guy doesn't run Shadow Strike or whatever it is. It's all okay. So prep and then sap, which is what I was kind of scared. But it's okay, because then we hero power shield slam. And that's the first auctioneer. <sighs> How did I know? Prep and a sap. I'm a fortune teller. Hi, it's me. Ho ho. <laughs> oh, now he conceals. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, conceal. Hide me, Captain. Who goes there? What? No concilio? Fantastic. Cool. Alright, so now what do we want to do? I really like Dirty Rat. Because it's going to pull Leroy. Because you know he's going to make a big Van Cleef next turn. So we can play Leroy or Van Cleef. I like you that a lot -o. I ain't talking. Not exactly the one I was looking for. <laughs> it's hammer time. Um, If we attack, we could just Ravaging Ghoul. So attack, Ravaging Ghoul clears out most of it, but this lives. We could bash... We would bash this, shield slam this. Then we have nothing to deal with um, the Van Cleef. Because with the Van Cleef, we could go shield block and then Van Cleef. So I don't think leaving this 3-2 alive is that big of a deal. I want to keep my... Um, but the Van Cleef's going to be fucking huge. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, that the, the, getting a seven armor for a shield block is not gonna stop a like a twelve twelve Van Cleef if he has it. We have to execute that guy, and we have Ravaging Ghoul for execute. I guess we didn't plan around the other auctioneer. That's potentially disastrous. Him using his um his cold bloods on this are, is good. Maybe we should have killed Patches, but then he had nothing to cold blood, and this baited it out hard. It baited, baited, got him. Now we attack, and then we Ravaging Ghoul. I was going to say if we can Hellscream, that'd be good too, but we can't do that. Ooh, I almost want to bash instead, but this is... This is probably better. I'm not going to shield block yet. Whew. So we've seen double auctioneer and a cold blood so far. And we're still at 30 life. That feels good. So if he plays Drake, we hell scream. 
The his only option is to like a huge van cleave and or huge questing and then conceal. That's his only option. Cool. So now we hell scream? Question mark. What is this guy's plan? What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> like, normally with this deck, you know I can't attack you quickly. So like, he if you, that at the beginning of the game he played relatively slow. He didn't even play his, like his buccaneers or any of this stuff because he knew he had time. And then all of a sudden he just started actively playing cards that he didn't have to play to do things he didn't have to do. He should have just waited. Because there's, I'm not going to be aggressive. The whole point of my deck is for you to do stupid stuff and then me punish you. That's what I do. That is, what is it, like... I don't know. The Brotherhood shall so there's the big Van Cleef. Does he have Conceal? No. So what are you doing, Falco? What are you doing, Captain Falco? What are you doing? So I guess first things first, we shield block, right? Because we could get, um... Something juicy, like a brawl. All right, so ugh, just not. No, okay, best result. So the only reason I didn't choose to bash and execute is because that kills one minion. Brawl kills two. So even if his eight eight lived, Thank we you. still technically killed a two for one there, which is fine. So we just need to deal one damage to this, and then we're fine. What the flying shenanigans are you doing? You just... <laughs> what? Why? Why? Okay. This makes sense. Okay. There you go. Alright. Well, that's unfortunate for you. Oh. We should probably attack first. So his max damage is Cold Blood and Abyss. So that's 14, 19, 20 damage is his max damage output. And we're at 26. So we are 6 over his max damage. Granted that he can sap this 2-7. What do you think about Conceal? I'm happy to see it go. I am very, very happy to, con to see Conceal leaving us. All right, thank you for the two armor. There's the cold blood. Oh, charge? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> so he attacks Van Cleef and then, what the fuck? Why did he give this charge then? It doesn't attack face. He's goosing. Straight goosing. We got a goose in play right now. All right, and then next turn we start Justifying, even though it's kind of late. Hiya, Warshack. What's up, Jess? How's it going? Hey, Rob, did you hear about the leak of the neck expansion? Uh, hey, Final Boss. Yeah, that came out. The leak was like, what, two weeks ago? A week ago? Might have been a week ago. I don't know. But yeah, it's the crater. Ungo crater secrets of crater place. Yeah. It was probably, it, it's, it's a cool area. It's not like my favorite place in WoW to go due to the fact that everything was so fucking mushed together. So whenever you would like attack something, you'd get everything coming at you, right? It was very similar to uh, Hellfire Peninsula when BC first came out. You attack one thing and it's like, oh, we gotta kill him, attack! And it was just a fucking, it was a nightmare for um, people leveling. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it seems cool, right? I mean, yeah. Magni oh gosh, a rank five. Hammer Teresu, isn't that a fucking Naruto move with the eyeball? Alright, so no, no, no. Is Alkalite, Alkalite's good. Alkalite's okay. I really don't like it too much, though. Eh. Dude, Hunter is winning 70% of my games and it's going, and it's against meta. Hunter's not that bad people made it seem really bad but it's it like 
If you go against aggro decks as a as a hunter, you'll lose. If you play mid range or control decks with hunter, you'll win because hunter is it does well against those kinds of decks. I really want to coin into the alkalite, but coin can be used as an extra legendary this match, which I think it might go to that. So I'm actually saving coin for the legendary that Elise is gonna give us. I know that's like 24 turns away, but we gotta think. We gotta think that deep. <laughs> I know that's like 24 turns away, but we gotta prepare. <laughs> oh my gosh. We are we could make our alkalite the strongest, coolest alkalite. He could be a 5-1 alkalite, but then everything wow. dies to Holy Nova. Let's bait the ooze. Rob, yesterday I started ranking, ranked matchmaking with a mid-range hunter and got from 25 to 19 undefeated. Nice. Are you mocking me? Went against three aggro and one. Lost to two tempo. You can't just say you were undefeated. Oh, oh not 25 to 19 undefeated, and then you continued playing, and then gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um... I kind of just want a ravaging ghoul, right? I don't want to. I don't want to slam this. Ravaging ghoul. He could be playing. Oh, I don't know. Hmm. I mean, slamming doesn't feel bad. I mean, it's all gonna die to Holy Nova anyway. Me. Yeah. Could he make us overdraw is the question. So we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten, so we don't overdraw. We're playing this very aggressively right now. <laughs> we are aggro warrior right now. The Alkalite Rager. <sighs> that good, good. Um no. Oh, he's playing Reno. Okay. Well, that makes sense now. Well, we need to, um, uh, how you'll say ya, man? We need to use something because we're going to overdraw. So I think we use coin here. Dude, shut the fuck up. Um, I don't think we bash. So this is what, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, we actually have to coin. I got to rank 12 first time today, so that's a thing. Rank 10 to the end of the month seems doable. Yeah, for sure. Lunar, congrats, man. What's honestly the most hated card in the game? It all depends on the era at which you're playing. What do I see here? I mean, we have two executes in our hand, and he hasn't been able to deal with our board yet. We are literally beating him down with Ghoul, a Taskmaster, and a fucking Alkalite of Pain. <laughs> I cannot say this has ever happened from me playing Control Warrior. I cannot say this has ever been a thing. <laughs> we have lethal if he doesn't clear our board. He is he picking a one mana? There's no way. Oh my god. Freeze the 2 1. Fuck. He stopped our lethal, boys. He, he stopped the, the turn 8 warrior aggro lethal. Yeah, he, he did it. He done did it. Um. Alright, so how do we, uh. I'm trying to think of a, a frisky play. The max damage we have is eight. So <laughs> I'm trying to um so attack, bash. No problem. 
I guess this swings here, right? Or do we just go face? I mean, if we draw Hell Scream, we win, right? So I guess face is the place. Because we would Hell Scream and then Cruel Taskmaster it. Thought Steal. Oh, from your opponent's deck. So he could have still Hell Scream. He can still Elise. He can still a lot of stuff. Fuck. Hopefully he took, like, Shield Slams. Alright. Reno's good. We got an early Reno off this guy. That's really nice. That is really nice. There's our Elise. Do we want to use it now? He could entomb it. It's a real threat. Maybe. No, 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 no. I guess we have to, right? Hmm. Maybe he'll entomb the Justicar. I feel like if Shadow were death, the just card. We might have um, played this too quickly because we're at 13 cards and he's at 17 cards. So <laughs> we are not making it to fatigue. So there's the Shadow Ward death. Maybe he'll stop us from drawing. I actually do not want to draw from this Acolyte. So maybe he'll do something. All right, this is good. He drew. He attacks and then heals. So it goes to five. Okay. There's our health scream, which was going to line up with the Taskmaster for lethal. Lethal, so rip. So we can either Hell Scream, attack into this. I think that's the plan. I like this a lot. We want him to entomb this Hell Scream. We do not want him to entomb our least or our monkey. That's how we win. Well, Rob, what's the best way to farm dust? Ooh, that's unfortunate. He still can't kill it, though. Do we just Gore Howl? And kill off the 5-5 five five and swing phase for f the 4-5. He should honestly attack the Hell Scream and heal his Reno. But let's not tell him that. Um, probably Arena, right? Ooh, that was super close. That was, uh... <laughs> That was really close there, guys. Taste my blade. Taste my blade. It's hard for me to want to do anything because technically every card in my hand is a random legendary minion. So me taskmastering, um, like me attacking this guy, or like it just. Ugh. This is a this is a difficult game. He didn't he hasn't used Entomb and he's gonna want to use it on Elise. So it's kind of like whoever draw the map who who draws the map first is the real the real winner winner chicken dinner here. Play another minion so I can brawl. He already played, so we could pull Bran. Uh, that's a real thing. That's bad. We wanted him to use that to draw. We have time. We'll just wait patiently. I was really wanting to get the, like, this is a bad pull. This is, that's a bad pull. We needed a, him drawing cards is again really good because fatigue is going to hit us first for sure. He still hasn't used the two cards that he pulled from our hand. He's, he naturally plays Justicar? Okay. He gave us a decent brawl board now because we can brawl and then we can attack a minion and then we're fine. Because this is the big, he already used Kazakus. So this, ooh. Okay, 
So he is, we're four cards up in fatigue, but it's only three because we have Elise, but he hasn't entombed yet. So it's going to be rough, but I think we can do it if we gain enough armor before we hit there. I think we, I think we can do it. We just need to keep gaining armor and not using cards. Every turn, just make sure we armor up and try to stay as, uh, away from taking damage. Woohoo! Side effects? No. Trust that actually helps us more than him, so we can just casually kill this, right? It's still four cards up. It's gonna be rough. And Tomb is a very real thing. And he hasn't used Shadow Priest or anything like that? Oh gosh, this is scary. Yeah, he hasn't used Shadow Ward Death yet. No, he used Shadow Ward Death, but not Pain. So we're gonna go Alley Armorsmith. And we're gonna do this, though. This is super annoying, so he actually will have to entomb Alley Armorsmith. He's going to entomb our Alley Armorsmith, and then we play Elise Starseeker. Check this shit out, boys. Fuck, he just pulled our Elise. Fuck, now he entombs it. Oh, he doesn't entomb it. Good, so we just need to kill this. We need to kill this ASAP. Alright, so how do we do this? How do we make this come true? We also don't want him to take... Fuck. Take this. Take this. Hmm. Take this. No problem. Get back. We're going to fatigue, boys. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this Reno deck plays two fucking dirty rats. Okay, so he's going to heal this up, kill the Sylvanas, and then take it. Okay. Can he heal it again? You shouldn't... Yeah, I don't know. He might. That's perfectly okay. He just used an additional card again. Holy oh, shit, guys. <laughs> Maybe we should have shield slammed it instead. I don't know. We should have uh, we should have shield slammed it, equipped war axe, and tried to bait the ooze on the war axe. Rip. So our our how we win is literally just getting enough armor to surpass fatigue four turns. I'm trying to think of a way that we can give him. Oh, that's bad. Okay. Don't give him something crazy. Good. Good. Unfortunately, though, we keep taking four damage every single turn. I wonder what... Uh, it, I mean, we have... We have the resources to deal with most, like we have double shield slam, execute, and a brawl. And we know he hasn't used a shadow word pain yet. So now we just wait patiently. It all, it all depends on how many more minions he has. We're gonna be taking so much damage, boys. <laughs> We're gonna be taking so much damage out. Bad time to play that. Ah! 
He already used Reno, so I mean, there is a real way we can win this. Shield slamming my own Elise. That's that's a bit extreme. That is a bit extreme. I'm almost out of cards. How many more threats does this guy have? We can't afford to take any damage at all. So that's why I'm killing these the second they come out, because we cannot take the damage. Brand. I guess we play this ally armorsmith into it, right? What if he has Cabal Shadow Priest, though? That's good, because then we have a good brawl. But then he has that 4-5 out. And then what if this lives? Yeah, we chill. I'm out of I can take two a turn. We have to... Do, now we have to start doing the math. All right, so... One, two... Like, how many turns do we have? We're going to be... This is five. Holy shit. We basically have to Alkalite Brawl. That's really bad. Alright. I know this gets Shadow Ward Pain, guys. Maybe he could play... Hopefully he doesn't play Cabal Shadow Priest. He would have played that already. There's Shadow Ward Pain, right? Okay. <sighs> There's not much we can do. We need him to play another minion. I think we just lose. We're going to take too much damage. Because we were too far up in fatigue. Yeah. Well played. Fuck. Again, 40 minutes to lose. Well, maybe not. We might have enough HP. This two a turn though is brutal. Maybe we have to Alkalite Brawl and then hopefully Alkalite wins. But then what if he makes us even draw one card from the Alkalite, we lose. If we even draw one from the Alkalite, we lose. He's doing the, he's, he wants to do that. I want him to just to play one minion and then we Alkalite, we brawl, Alkalite wins and then that's it. That, like that's our last two raw, right? Should have watched our card draw earlier on. <laughs> We're gonna take 10 damage next turn. That's so much. Oh gosh. Dude, just hurry up, man. I, I honestly haven't done the math so I just want to keep it going, but. I think if we would have had a lease, we would have been all right. So we're going to take 11, and then 12, and then 13, and then we're dead. I think it, we were two turns off. But if we wouldn't have taken two every turn from this brand, I think we also had a chance to win. This brand has had a substantial impact on us losing. So maybe it was right to brawl and then pain. I almost, I just want to see what would have happened if we would have won that or not. So we would have won the brawl, and then if he does damage to this Alkalite, we just die. He doesn't have damage. He hasn't used Holy Nova, though. Like, he hasn't used Holy Nova, so that's damage onto this. And drawing one of this card isn't worth the damage that this pushes into him. Just Holy Nova, man. Or Excavated Evil. Dragonfire Potion. So this is why I didn't play it, because look at that damage. And you could say, oh, it's 13 damage now, but even if we would have played it earlier and we would have won the brawl, 
the damage again through drawing. You took too much damage from Brand, that's right. It all came down to that, too. So, it was a mixture of things. It was him playing Double Dirty Rat in a Reno deck. It was the Brand living. Um, it was us hell screaming uh, when maybe we shouldn't have. It was also not going for the Alkalite, and but he also didn't play Holy Nova, so he could have gone Holy Nova and Dragonfire Potion, which would have had us two draws, because he knew it was our last minion, which would have been two more than more what we were currently at. So, I mean, that's like, what, 24 damage? And Brandon, Brandon didn't do 24 damage. Brand probably did around 15 damage to us in total. So, two draws was actually more damage than, um, than keeping the Brand alive. And he also didn't play the Azur Drake because I, I I had a dirty ratted the Azur Drake out. So imagine that draw in there, which would have been um, one turn closer. So we wouldn't have played. We could have actually. There was so many things that just didn't go. It like it was like a feather on an anvil kind of. No, not feather on an anvil. Yeah, the heavy, the feather on the weight kind of thing. It just one thing could have. Uh... If I if you go. If you go to the game plan of why don't I just slam my Elise, then when I play the Golden Monkey, he, ent he entombs the Golden Monkey. Like, there's no winning. You have to get the Entomb out of the way. You have to get the Entomb out of the way. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Of course, I will catch you in the next episode. As always, I'm Warshak, and happy whatever the hell day it is.